I don't think there was ever a time where I was just struck suddenly that he was gifted uh, because I was a stay-at-home mom and I homeschooled him early on and he just caught on to everything very quickly. Um, I think that when it truly hit me, maybe when he was around three years old, and um, he said to me, I really want to learn calculus. And so I got him a little calculus book and he could work some of the very first questions in the book. Um, and then I thought, okay, yeah, you're really smart. <laughs> The first day of class, I was very nervous about kind of what I was walking into, going from a small private school and then to this big campus, but after the first day of class and once I sort of got used to the overall TCU feel, I was very comfortable. I was more nervous leaving him in the eighth grade at age five than I was leaving him at TCU on campus, even though he was 11 in a classroom with 18 year olds and so forth but I felt that he was safe and I sat right outside the classroom door the whole time so it wasn't like I was scared or uncomfortable um, I was very proud and happy that I had found a great place where he could continue his education actually and I felt truly blessed that TCU came through for us. It's not like it was meant to be but somehow it feels like it was meant to be that he would come here and that I think I, starting with myself, I think I was in a good place to be able to take care of things around him, to make things work and mentor him as well. But I think overall it's the way TCU is as an institution. I think it would be, have been less successful in a different institution that doesn't have the TCU sort of feel. So there's a lot of reasons why it was successful. Um, and I think it's very hard not to love Carson and the, the person that he is. And he's not some abrasive kid that thinks he's smarter than everyone else. But actually he is smarter than everyone else. <laughs> I always say this is our Ivy League and so this is where they can continue to learn and grow physically, spiritually, emotionally, uh, in every aspect of which a child needs to grow. They don't feel like, oh, I'm in a school with a bunch of grown-ups and everything. They feel more like, hey, this is my family, this is my team, these are the people that really care about me. It'll never be as anyone else because of his age and so that will always be a factor but we're trying to eliminate that as much as possible treat them as adults when when that's appropriate but then as kids when it when that's appropriate and because he needs to kind of be able to go between those two worlds still in order to to make it through wherever he's going in the future he's 14 four of those years he spent here that's pretty amazing TCU, you know, it's where I've grown up. It's, it's where I feel very comfortable here and it's home.